welcome back to another siege video uh, in today's siege we are versus the owl guild and die company uh, i'm quite strapped for time and i want to get this video out before tomorrow's siege uh, so uh, the stuff that's pretty self-explanatory like uh, lucians julies etc i won't be doing any uh commentary before uh, the attack uh i'll just try and uh, keep it to a minimum just to speed up the production uh yeah we went 10 0 last siege versus night stalkers and ori chill uh, which gives us a 98.2 win rate uh yeah that's pretty much it uh, we'll just get straight into the games so for the first attack we were versus the uh fire bayak i can't remember his name uh byung chul and uh, theomaz and um, we just used our favorite cleave the asima tiana verad uh, straight forward trip uh defense break dot and then cc uh yeah won't go into it too much pretty straightforward uh pretty much a weak cleave The second attack we were versus the Kiara, uh, Byungchul, and Theomaz, uh, sorry, Kasarian. Uh, here we use our new favorite cool team from the Reddit post of uh, Conrad, Lucia, and Yonhong. Uh, pretty much straightforward. Uh, Yonhong moves first, she boosts up the Lucia. Lucia then shuts the weak link. In this case, it's the Kiara, because Kiara's built normally on crit damage and squishy. Uh, once Kiara dies, it leaves the Lucia on one health. Conrad then cuts in between the um, Yonhong taking the turn and then uses the S3 to flip the HPs. And then that puts pretty much uh, the second unit on low health and then Yonhong just finishes finishes the unit off, leaving a three versus one with everybody on uh, high, high health and minus uh, fire to help survive a three versus one. Baby, hold 
So for the next attack, we reverses the the bear, uh, Bingcho and Tessarian, and my fire twist team let me down. Uh, so yeah, basically the basic idea is we strip into AOE defense break, into attack break, into glance and um, pushback. Uh, potentially, let's say we miss some defense break or something, we could still be okay due to everything being like attack broke, defense broke, pushback, stunned, etc. Uh, sadly, we missed quite a lot here, and then to top it off. Uh, they had two violent procs on the bear and Byungchol from stuns, so it kind of like ripped us uh, in RNG. Maybe the D it wasn't the best offense, I don't know. Maybe I stop uh, cleaving uh, with Maxi on the Byungchol teams. Uh, so far, it's, it's always worked, but yeah, uh, if you just miss everything and then the violent proc, it's kind of tricky. But then I guess any defense, I suppose, any cleave or, or aggressive base team is going to away it misses everything and uh they have violent procs so yeah maybe they just need to get a little bit more accuracy on Macti. uh but yeah there uh, it lost uh so yeah let's watch it So for the next attack, we were versus the Dark Siri, uh, Chuchlid and Vyga defense, uh, and we used the Malite, Chillin and Tetra. Um, sadly, we lost again. <laughs> pretty insane, uh, pretty terrible. Uh, but basically, we beef up the Tetra. Um, so worst case scenario, the Tetra hopefully survives with some bad RNG. Um, as you can see here in this next replay, uh, it's pretty much unavoidable if if your tetra is defense broken and they have high damage uh it doesn't matter what build your tetra's on she's dead uh well any violent build she's gonna die i think so yeah uh i'll show you the tetra build and i'll keep the tetra build on for the replay just so you can see the um can see the damage and we'll laugh at my uh expense Looking for you, but fate has a way of giving me what I need right before I hit my knees to cry.
For the next attack we versus the Sylvia Bungcho and the Sarian. And again, I made a mess of this one. Uh, so this is pretty much a how not to siege. Uh, and we copied on from somebody else's team and made a worse version of an already uh, poor team, I guess. Uh, so we see, I was seeing quite a few wins with uh, Byung, well not Byung with a wind uh, tank and two fire units. And there was a, there was a previous attack, there was a Byung Chul. Uh, I just copied it because it had worked like three or four times. Uh, but I swapped the fire unit. I ended up using the Mugi instead of like a Rika. Uh, even then, uh, it probably wouldn't have made much difference. Uh, it was just a bad version of the team. Like uh, the other wins were, were probably better just because the comp was a little bit better. But man, uh, I just like I say, I made a worse version of a bad team. But yeah, this was. This was the worst loss of the three for me. The other two, I don't mind, they were more RNG related. This one was purely on my, on me and on comp. So yeah, uh, rather poor uh, and yeah, three losses in this siege. Uh, absolutely horrendous. Uh, so yeah, well, let's watch it.
I've never been exposed to like this before. I'm good at shutting you out. I've always had a way of keeping close. You got me out in the open Now I'm ready to dive in I know you told you it would be a slow burn So yep, this is the end result. It was us in first place, Owls in second, and Die Company in third. It was a terrible, terrible siege all over. Like not just my performance. Uh, don't if, I don't think like the, there was a deserved winner of this siege. We were poor, Owls were poor, uh, and then it came down to pretty much whoever Die Company decided they were gonna attack. Uh, we ended up winning, and I think Owls. I was were pretty upset with how we won and to be fair it was pretty pretty poor but in the end we did have a better win rate so I mean there is that argument but it, again I don't think any team really deserved to win the siege it was that bad uh, from an overall point of view uh, my personal performance was absolutely shocking 7-3 uh, I'll, I'll say that two of them are put down to maybe at least one of them down to RNG and maybe it's bad comp uh, and then the last one just being that totally terrible comp so yep not happy with that uh, overall very very poor uh, and it's absolutely destroyed my win rate <laughs> but that's life uh, defense we had six wins 11 uh, losses so the gap to shazam did quite a bit of work which was nice but uh doesn't really uh do much when you have a 7-3 on attack so yeah uh, very very poor uh can't really say much uh poor siege poor performance by me uh yeah no one really deserved to win it was that bad uh so yeah that's about it uh we'll go and have a look at the global siege where it went a bit better <laughs> so yeah let's jump over to there so yep this is the current siege stats for the alt account uh we're on a four streak which is pretty pretty good uh, we do have a very shaky start uh, so our win rate is down, but uh, hopefully we can keep uh, keep the performances going and keep the win rate up. Uh, just have to see how it goes. But uh, this this siege we were versus Fallen Kingdom and Nook and Foots. Uh, one of these was kind of like a lower level guild. I can't remember. It was like a G2 level guild, but yeah, certainly uh, they had like old meta defenses and uh, yeah, probably lesser runes I'd imagine. Uh, so yeah, let's just get straight into the attacks. <laughs>
for the second attack we're versus the Triana, Misty and Vyga, uh, very heavy uh, two kind of support sustains, uh, sustain support. Uh, so here we took our Jiltan, Windy and Raccoonie, uh, really like this team, uh, especially in this account because I can really give the fast bio set to the Windy. Uh, so yeah, so Misty is going to focus uh, the Jiltan and then um, yeah, he's going to set up defense breaks and then our uh, turbo windy is going to destroy the, the misty and yeah pretty much straightforward as long as we don't get uh rng Yeah, so for this attack, we reverses the uh, G2 guild or whatever it is, and they had a defense based um, defense. <laughs> so here we use the uh, Bastad, Odin, and uh, Bethany, uh, obviously two in our defense units. Uh, I did realize after, I forgot, that I didn't really speed tune this team. Uh, normally, I just use it versus slow stuff and run the uh, the Bastet at like plus 200 or something, but uh, yeah, this was, uh, it worked, but. Uh, tuning was was not for it So for the next attack we versus the Mua, Zen and Tessarian team. Uh yeah, I must have maybe just pulled Zen, he's level 39. Uh here we used our uh Feng Yang um at, uh, and Alia team. Uh yeah, pretty straightforward. Just uh try and keep keep people alive and uh, work down uh one unit at a time. Uh, we've got double cleanse, uh tanky build, so yeah, should be should be good.
For the next attack, Bob is versus the Kakano, uh, Celia, and uh, Zero Two team, uh, potentially a Swift Celia. Uh, here we went for the uh, Kinky to tank up the Zero Two and then two water units uh, to direct the focus uh, from the Kakano onto the Kinky as well. Uh, the Nana for obviously the extra life, and yeah, we just try and keep ahead of kills on Rav before they can kill us. But yeah, pretty much focus something down and then. Thank you about extra lives, uh, keep us afloat. Yeah, this tactic is pretty much the same as the Misty team. We've got the Driller who's going to focus the Jultan. And then we have Windy on crit rate, high speed, high damage uh, to try and uh, just kill off things fast. So yeah, we pretty much tank up turn one, minus water on everything. Uh, the burst is going to be from the Miyang. Uh, and then yeah, we just, uh, once we survive the opener, we then just tum tunnel damage into the Driller or into the Miyang, whoever we land a defense break on and uh, windy and just go wild.
yep, this is the end result. Uh, it was a pretty fast siege. It was over pretty much at the end of day one. Uh, it was a bit of a mismatch. Uh, there was, like I say, a G2 stroke, maybe even G1 guild. I'm not too sure what level they were. Uh, Fallen Kingdom uh, had some pretty okay people in. Uh, but yeah, overall we ran away, uh, which was nice. Uh, yeah, for my personal performance, uh, I ended up with 10-0, which I was obviously pretty happy with after the disaster of EU siege on the on the morning or during the day. Uh, we went 1-4 on defence, didn't really get much coverage on the defence. Uh, the win was on our uh, Swift Ashia, which I kind of keep meaning to change. Swift Ashia seems pretty shit. Uh, yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Um, another 10 uh, on the alt. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, not uh, Not happy at all on the EU. I might potentially even be benched on EU because we bench uh, if we don't get volunteers, it's normally done off uh, performance or potentially guild needs. Uh, so I might get saved based on my defenses for EU, on EU, but overall there's a good chance that it might be benched and I might only have a global siege on Thursday. Uh, so yeah, cheers for watching and uh, I look forward to the interesting and fun comments in uh, the video. So yeah, thank you.